Now let's get to playing our single note. The important thing that I, I, I want to really encourage, which you're doing really well with so far, is keeping everything relaxed. Now it's hard to say relax when you're trying hard to do something. Yeah. But it's one of those things, if we can just focus on this early on, it's going to really get rid of a lot of the common issues that harmonica players have to deal with. And since you know you have an instructor to work with, I can impart these things now so it'll save you time and grief. <laughs> okay. That's my job. So when you're playing the harmonica, uh, we've already got that idea that you open your mouth, you insert the harmonica, it's soft air, you're playing soft, everything's great. The lips, as you play, so far I've not noticed any tension. You can, I can see tension in different parts of the body. Mm -hmm. I'm not seeing any of that right now. Let's keep it that way. Okay, we'll see with the, with the tongue. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So when you put your tongue on the harmonica, we want it to be the same idea. If you are not blocking enough holes to create the technique we're looking for, you're not going to fix it by pushing. You're going to fix it by using more of the top of the tongue, which is simply put wider. So here's the tip, <clears throat> not very wide. Here's the top, it's wider. So tip's not wide, oh, okay. top's wider. You're not going to try and push and fold it over more. No. Yeah, You're exactly. just going to basically sort of stick the tongue out a little farther and use a little bit higher. You got it. That's the technique. Uh, yeah. That's the okay. number one issue for players. And I just can... got it. I watched some of the tongue blocking video and I still didn't quite get it. Ah. So, okay. Good. Now, you can push, and that tongue will squish, even if you don't let it arch. It will squish in the holes. Mm -hmm. But the problem is when we do techniques where the tongue lifts off, it's going to lift off unevenly, and it's going to come on unevenly. And your techniques like your flutters and your pulls will suck for a while. So usually when I receive submissions from my students on the website, when those techniques, the flutters and the pulls, don't sound good, it's because they haven't got that idea of using more at the top of the tongue. Okay. So. Use Which is why... <clears throat> The tilt is important. It is preferable. There okay. are, let me give a caveat, a lot of great players that play dead flat. But since you're starting from the very beginning, why not have what we consider to be the perfect perfect method of harmonica right. playing, you know? And if over time I, I see you just playing dead flat and you're sounding good and you're playing well, who cares? Right. Because there's plenty of players who do. Okay. But I want to give you every possibility of sounding good from the beginning I can. <laughs> yeah. All right. So let's just hold it maybe with one hand or kind of corn on the cob and okay. put your lips over four holes. So open mouth, insert harmonica. Yeah, let's be a little bit wider so we get the fourth hole there too. Good. So I can hear the four blow in there now. Good. There's a little bit, a little bit too wide. You got some five in there now. Good. Your ears little by little will become accustomed to what that sounds like. When, now, when you put your tongue on there, just very softly bring your tongue a little bit to the left. There's your four blow. Very good. That's it. <laughs> how come I couldn't All right, we're do, done. How come I couldn't do that enough? <laughs> <laughs> That's a lucky chair. I got Good. Now, you got really lucky that you were dead in the right spot. Let's mess yeah. it up. Move like a half a hole to the right. Okay. Whatever feels like that would be. Now just slide the harmonica. Got it. Fixed. Harmonica is all about micro movements because everything is small in there. Hmm. Okay. Now let's go too far to the left. Just now slide the harmonica to your left. Yeah, and you even moved your jaw a little bit. That's okay. There's the three. Now four blow. Good. Okay. There are three ways, uh, four ways, that you can tell what hole you're on. Technology's wonderful. We didn't, we didn't have it in my day. <laughs> One, here's the simple. This is the old school way. All right. Oh, believe me, I've done that. Like what, because I don't even know what a four sounds like. Yeah, so yeah. I'm like, okay, what? Okay, there you go. Great, and then I, I try to keep that in my, he in my head, in my ears, and I'm like, okay, well. Perfect. Or you yeah. can, if you want, just pucker up. Try to find the I've tried that, but I, yeah, for some reason I can't really get the pucker to work right. But if I do the tongue. Uh -huh. Oh, with a curl. The curl, I can, I yeah. can do that. 
be a little cautious with that. Yeah, I, girls, kind of a bad thing. Yeah, I kind of figured. <laughs> but if you're just doing it for this, yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, but so far I'm not hearing any issues. Uh, here's a, another simple way of doing it, just simply. Oops, I dropped my harmonica. Just put that on the face, mash it down so you can see the holes, and just there's the there's the hole. Where are you? There it is. So I wasn't careful, that's three blow. But uh, you would go one, two, three, right. four, and there's the fourth hole, and you poke it in there and oh. add it there. Then you just take it off and you're done. If you use something like painter's tape, then it's not going to leave a residue. Okay. Uh, if you have two A harmonicas, as time goes on, that one's going to die on you someday. So you'll have two A harmonicas, or you can buy a cheap one, like $10 A harmonica. You could have a, that's your donor harmonica. That you okay. Back and forth. Now, the other way to do it is you could use a tuner. Okay. So I could have my, I turned my phone off, but um, you can buy an app that has a tuner and you play your four blow. Now, we're going to be studying as if, we're going to be thinking as if you're always on a C harmonica. Okay. That'll mess you up a little bit for right. what we're talking about right now. But I do have a chart on the website and uh, you can find it if you go to the last lesson. Click on lessons. Right. Go to the very last lesson and it uh, talks about understanding position plane. Okay. You click on there, you're going to see a PDF that's a chart of all all the keys. Okay. And the only reason why I'll send you there is because it's, it's the easiest one to find. So go to the bottom, click on that, and then you'll see the PDF. And if I look at my A harmonica, A harmonica, four blow is A. Okay. And you put your tuner on, and you play the note, and you should get a readout of A on your tuner. It'll tell you if you're on A or not. Exactly. Now, if I grab Harp Ninja and turn Harp Ninja on. So I open it up and I set it, I click diatonic. I go to settings and I change the harmonica from the default C harmonica to A. I click back on A, play your four blow. So you're on three blow right now, E. Come a little closer. There you go. Okay. So there's your fourth hole right there. Okay. That's pretty neat. Yeah. That's a, a very technology-based solution. And you, ha you have that on your phone as well, or is it a different app? It doesn't work very well on the phone because the visual is so small. Oh. But you can get it for the, for the phone. And uh, another way is you can use a pitch generator, which could be a piano, or it could be a keyboard. I mean, I, actually, my tuner right here has, I click it over to A. Oh, okay. So there's a lot of ways to go about that. Um, probably more than, <laughs> more than we really need, but you know, you'll right. find one that works well for you.